Hey y'all! So um, I'm going to do kind of a collective review slash collective haul thing for some products I got today at Walmart. So everything here is cheap, um, which is cool. Sorry about the crazy makeup. I just tried these out right now to make sure that I liked them before I reviewed them for you guys. So yeah, that's what's up with that. So um, also I just got back from the gym. That's why I'm like not all put together. You know what? I don't need to explain myself. Whatever. Let's move on. Um, so the first thing I'll talk about is I've been wanting to try the Fit Me Maybelline stuff but I didn't know what I wanted to try because, you know, I already have a foundation that I really like and everything like that. Um, but I've also been looking for a concealer. Um, for those of you who don't know, um, I have extremely bad dark circles under my eyes um, because the lighting is kind of weird. You know, you can't tell. Also, I'm wearing the concealer, so you also can't. This lighting's kind of weird. Hold on. Is that better? Kind of. Okay. Anyway, I have really bad dark circles under my eyes. So I need a really good concealer or it's just not worth it. Um, usually I use the Some Kind of Gorgeous, which is actually just foundation. So I put the foundation on top of my foundation that is already full coverage and it's still not giving me enough. So um, yeah, so I decided to try the Fit Me um, concealer. This is in 20, I believe. Yes, this is in 20. Um, and I just tried it out and it works great. I love it. It gave me full coverage, everything that I needed, including these little things over here. I mean, you can kind of still see these. I don't know why, but I have these. It's really dark right here and it's all sunken in and it's weird and I don't know how to fix it, but um, even the concealer hid those really well so um yeah it worked really well on my eyes i thought and so i would i would recommend this this is a win um it's not a win or fail video whatever i don't care <laughs> um so yeah i'm really unfocused because i'm kind of sick but whatever um so the next thing that i got I decided to try these out because another YouTuber, another YouTuber did a review on them and said that they were just like um, the NYX Jumbo Eye Pencil. Now I've never used the NYX Jumbo Eye Pencil but I always wanted to try it but when I found out that these are just like it and they're like three dollars less I was like give me that. So um, yeah I tried them out. And honestly, I am in freaking love. These are so awesome because I'm always like, looking for an eyeshadow base because honestly, my primer isn't enough. Like I want a base to make my eyeshadows really pop. I want vibrant junk going on, you know? So um, these are the three colors that I got. This purple one is Techno. This one that I broke immediately after I got home is Pixie. Be very careful. These are extremely creamy. So easy to break. I like was trying to pop the top off and psh, it just broke. So I already had to sharpen that one. One downfall. These are really small. Like compared to my eye. No, I don't know. <laughs> They're really small though. And then the other one I got, which is my favorite one so far, is Envy. It's this nice green color. Now, um... You can't really see that well on camera, but I put Envy on this eye, and I really dug it, but I put um, Goldilocks on top of it just to see how it would look with that. Honestly, I really love it. I like it a lot. I put, um, I keep wanting to call it Sin because it's kind of a dupe for Sin, but I put Pixie um, on top here. You can't really see it, though. Like, honestly, it's extremely nude. Um, and then over here is what was techno um with eyeshadow on top this is not the color payoff that techno gave um techno had the least color payoff but um it's really creamy so it made the eyeshadow stick really well and then on top i have maui waui but that's not important um so yeah i was just testing these out seeing what they looked like um i really like these so far um i think they're great 
shadow bases and everything like that and I would totally buy these again. I probably will because they are so small and I'm afraid they'll go away but um yeah so super cool stuff that's what I got at Walmart. All of this is like a total of like ten dollars not even kidding you so yeah pretty great. Anyway I'm gonna go so I'll talk to you guys later bye.